In this video, I'm going to teach you how to add, delete, edit, and reorder variables. In this project, our elementary education project, we have four variables. We have name, age, sex, and interview, which is our document variable. First, I'm going to show you how to add new variables. There are two ways you can do this. You can move your mouse into the variables window and right click. From there, select add variables. Alternatively, you can move your mouse up to the menu at the top and select Variables and scroll down to Add. A variable definition dialog box appears. The first field is variable name. A variable name can be up to 10 characters long. The second field is the description field. It's always a good idea to describe your variable. This way, if you come back to it after many years, or if you have a number of people working on the same project, you'll always know what that variable refers to. Also, this field can contain many more characters than the variable name. That way, for example, if you're working with a survey, you may call your variable question one, two, or three, but you can write out your entire survey question in the description. Below the description field, you have the data type drop-down menu from which you'll choose your variable data type. Let's add our first new variable. We'll call this variable grade. This will be the grade year of the child. And the data type we'll choose is numeric. We're given the choice between integer and floating point. In this case, integer has already been selected and we'll stick with integer. Once you're finished, press add. Let's add a second new variable. We'll call this variable school. The description is the name of the school. The data type in this case will be nominal or ordinal. When you choose a nominal or ordinal data type, you're asked to describe the values. To do this, press the edit button, and you can enter your values one per line. Delton, Eastwood, or East Glen. Once you're finished, select OK, and then select Add. Your variables have been added to the bottom of the dialog box. Press Create. Our two new variables have been created. We can go ahead and populate these variables by choosing the school from the drop-down menu and by typing in the grade of the student. I'm now going to show you how to delete variables. You can do this in two ways. You can right-click your mouse and select Delete Variables from the menu, or you can move up to the bar at the top and select Variables, and then scroll down to Delete. A Delete Variables dialog box opens. It lists existing variables on the left-hand side. Select the variable that you would like to delete and move it to the right-hand side in the Variables to Delete field. You can select numerous variables to delete at the same time. If you decide you no longer want to delete that variable, select it and then move it back to the existing variables box. Once you have all the variables that you'd like to delete in the Variables to Delete box, simply select OK. You're asked if you're sure you'd like to delete that variable, select Yes, and we can see that our variable school has been deleted. You can edit a variable by selecting it and right-clicking. Then scroll down to Edit Properties. A Variable Properties Editor dialog box appears. In this case, it's for the variable sex. We'd like to rename sex gender. Click the Rename button and simply type in gender. Hit OK. We'd also like to add a value. Let's go to the Values tab, and we see that we have male and female. We'd like to add undeclared.
Once you type it in the Values field, select Add, and it will be added to the list. Once you're done, you simply have to close this box. There's no need to save it. Our variable has been changed to gender, and undeclared has been added to the list. A shortcut to adding a new value to your variable would be to select the arrow beside the variable and scroll down to New Value. A dialog box appears. Simply enter your new value into this dialog box and then select OK. You can reorder your variables at any time by moving your mouse back into the Variables window and right-clicking. You can then choose Reorder from the menu that appears. Alternatively, you can move up to Variables at the top of the screen and then scroll down to Reorder from the drop-down menu. A Variable Order dialog box appears with all of your variables listed. There's two ways that you can reorder your variables. You can select the variable that you would like to move, and then move it up or down with the arrow keys. You can also drag and drop your variable. Once your variables have been reordered to your liking, press OK. And we can see that our variables have been reordered.